This is the Port Mosby Private Medical Services Facility here at Three Mile Hill, overlooking Palm General to the southeast, Tarama south, and Barocco to the north. Built some 13 years ago by MVIL, it has never been fully utilized as a hospital. Its outpatients here, until recently, has been used by the special group, or SGIL, at the center of this controversy. The inpatients has never had patients. Today, it stands idle. Security personnel mend the gates and protect the whole complex. Workmen repairing the property boundary today. This week, a newspaper advertisement spoke of a merger between the private medical specialist complex and the Pacific International Hospital. It was a business decision as well as a social obligation. These are the deciding factors as spelled out by Philip Kande, chairman of Petroleum Resource Gobe, speaking for the resource companies managed by MRDC. One of our uh, investment uh, that we have made is uh, on the people on the hospital so that we can give them uh, uh, improved uh, health medical uh, services to the people. And the way to do it is uh, by establishing a, a hospital-like thing but by stages. Yes. And what we have bought into is a, a private medical uh, center up on the, on the uh, mountain. MRDC holds 96% of the facility, while the balance of four is held by SGIL, represented by Dr. Paul Mark, who operated a clinic at the outpatients. Dr. Paul is reported to have opposed the merger, though he had been given all the chances to redress. Even a court order refused an injunction sought by him. Pacific International Hospital is a 20-plus bed private facility and is busy each day of the week. The beds are always occupied and the medical personnel on the move. The facility on the hill is 100 beds and is empty. It is with that backdrop and proper business rationale that led to the merger. The merger underlines successive government's policy of public-private partnership. Linking this place behind me with the Pacific International Hospital down the road at Four Mile sits nicely. In this case, it's three-way resource owners. And for the state, it's IPBC and MVIL and the private partner here, the Pacific International Hospital. John Eggins, National MTV News.